Hey guys, Christo Garcia, my swing evolution. I'm getting over a cold, so that's why my voice is a little froggy. But today's video is from a round of golf I played last week. It's like, I think my second 18 hole round this year. And uh, I'll tell you, I was having a lot of fun. I had it under par through most of the front nine. I was playing with a pro and, you know, a lot of times when I'm trying to play my best golf, I don't whip out my camera. But, you know, I, I had a double on eight and I bogeyed nine and kind of, you know, the train went off the tracks for a little bit. Um, so I ended up breaking out the camera on the back nine for a few of my swings just to, you know, see how I was doing. And I wanted to share some of these swings because... I drove the ball about as well as I ever have in my life. And this is a great thrill because my swing evolution was really all about me trying to just be able to get off the tee. I couldn't get off the tee to save my life. I had nothing consistent. I couldn't rely on anything. And I would just be sweating bullets on every tee box. But this last round of golf, I felt like, man, I'm in this game. So at any rate, I wanted to share some of these swing thoughts with you. And one of the main ones is uh, something I picked up from George Gankus about the alignment of the armpits, kneecaps, and balls of the feet. So I'm going to be talking about how this applies to players like Sam Snead and Ben Hogan. Um, you know, it looks to me like Sam Snead is tipped out over the ball and he wouldn't fit that description. So we're going to take a closer look at that. Um, now, we do have an MSC Intensive coming up March 21st and 22nd in Pasadena, California, and we are getting a group together to potentially go to Italy in early May, May 3rd through the 9th. This is a big MSC extravaganza, six days of golf and a lot of touring museums and everything else in Florence. So at any rate, if you'd like more information, contact me, Christo, at MySwingEvolution.com. All right, guys, so let's take a look at my drive on the 18th hole. I've been swinging so well this day, and this one I blasted right down the middle, so I was very happy with the way I struck the ball today. So let's take a look at this one. Now, the thing I'd like to find the most in my golf swing is a lack of hitches and compensations. I want my downswing to be very smooth as I deliver the club head through impact. So let's take a look at this a little bit slower. Now I'm set up here at the top ready to make my downswing transition. I've lifted my left heel, you'll notice. And as I make my move, both of my feet are still planted, which is something good. I used to pop off that rear heel but now I'm driving through my legs, rotating, got pretty good hip clearance. And you can see here, I'm really letting it rip right through impact. This is really like Shangri-La, what I talk about, being able to release this club right through the ball and trust that it's going to go where I aimed it. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. And what I talked about uh, in my intro was aligning my armpits, knees, and shoulders. I, 
I have done this off and on. I have a tendency to tip out over the ball too far, which causes me to lose my balance towards my toes. So this is the picture of Ben Hogan that I had referenced in my last video where I'm talking about the alignment of his knees. And so now I've added uh, the Gankus line, which is behind the armpits. So you'll notice that Ben Hogan's uh, armpits are aligned with his knees. Now his feet are a little wonky by that standard because he uses an closed stance for his driver. And uh, according to TrackMan, what we've learned is because of the way he swung the club, he went from an open stance with his wedges to a closed stance with his driver to zero out his path. If you don't change your feet, then you have to move the ball back as you get to the shorter clubs. So that was his compensation. Those are the two ways to do it, and apparently there's not an in-between. But you'll see that he pretty much is centered over his feet. So what I'm wanting to do is be able to rotate my torso over my hips and legs and not lose my balance. And so Ben Hogan said he felt most people were tipped out or bent over too far at the waist. Now, he and I are the same size, um, you know, approximately 5'8", 140. So here we can see that he's got his, his armpits, knees, and balls of the feet pretty much in line the way that uh, Genghis talks about, but this camera is slightly inside the target line. Now, this is Sam Sneed. I mentioned that I felt that he was tipped over too far to be in line with the George Genghis ideal of armpits, knees, and balls of the feet. You know, so I wanted to just check it out for my own, you know, information. And so I decided to put this line in, and remarkably, he's pretty darn close. Like, he's basically still within that paradigm. Now, the one difference between these guys and the pros today is you'll see a lot more flex in the knees with the pros, and you'll see the posterior much farther back in the pros today than uh, it used to be. So let's go back to Ben Hogan real quick. So you can see that these guys do not poke their rear ends backwards uh, to counterbalance their turn. So let's take a look at this golf swing once again on 18. You'll see that the line shows that my armpits, my left kneecap, and my left ball of my foot is in line. Now, I do draw my right foot back off of the target line, or my foot line, shall I say, um, which could be the reason why my knees tend to open up a little bit. But Ben Hogan, again, he even had his, his knees square to the target as well. So let's see how this holds up as I make my swing. Pretty interesting, I would say. Now, the one thing I feel pretty good about is having a more stable left foot nowadays. You know, as I've been working on this, I've been able to leverage the ground more efficiently. You know, for years I had that wobbly left foot, and it's still going to move a little bit as my weight moves to that foot. But as I plant my feet here, because my weight isn't tipped out over my toes, I can turn faster in balance. That's what it's all about, people. So being able to turn with speed and balance, I'm able to deliver the club head square through the impact zone and hit that ball right down the middle of the fairway. So I hope this lesson helps you out, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Hi, I'm Christo Garcia, the founder of My Swing Evolution. I love the game of golf, and I've played it poorly almost my whole life. Well, a few years back, I decided I was gonna start all over again and rebuild my golf swing. And what I decided to do was stop trying to do what all the PJ Tour pros are doing today and go back to the classic swingers like Ben Hogan and Jack Nicklaus. That's where I found the inspiration to recreate my golf swing. And I figured out that it's a lot easier for the average weekend player to swing in the classic style. 
Well, if you're a weekend golfer and you want to get better at the game, I highly suggest you check out the classic swing fundamentals in the My Swing Evolution golf system. They worked for me, they changed my life, and I'm convinced they will help you hit it long and hit it straight. So go to MySwingEvolution.com.